I love 
Hello Trinity Kids, it's me Jamie and I know you can't see my lovely face but I am here, I promise. Um, today we're going to be uh, continuing with our theme of the Holy Spirit. Uh, the last few weeks we've been looking at gifts of the Holy Spirit, in particular the last two weeks we learned about the gift of prophecy and the gift of tongues. But this week we're going to be moving on to be learning about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And a fruit of the Holy Spirit um, it's something that comes out of us when the Holy Spirit is in our lives. So the Holy Spirit acts almost like um, watering a plant. It acts like the water that feeds the plant so it can grow fruits. The, you can find the fruits of the Holy Spirit in Galatians chapter 5 verses 22 to 23 where it says the fruits of the Spirit are love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness and self-control. <gasps> Take a deep breath, that was a long one. Um, so there are lots of fruits of the Spirit and we're going to be looking at all of them over the summer um, and the first one we're going to focus on this week is love. That's right, we're going to be talking all about love. Now our Bible story comes from the book of 1 John and it's in 1 John chapter 3 verse 16 to 18. Now this uh, is a letter to a church and it's written by a guy named John. Now this is John the disciple. So he would have been there with Jesus, not when he was born and not when he was growing up, but he would have been there from when his ministry started. Um, so that's when he started teaching, that's when he started doing miracles, all the way through to, and most importantly, seeing his death and his resurrection where he came back to life and his ascension into heaven. So John was around for all of that. He saw Jesus do all these amazing things firsthand. And so this is what uh, John is saying to the church um, in uh, this letter. So I'm going to read it to you guys now. It says, this is how we know what real love is. Jesus gave his life for us. So we should give our lives for others. Suppose a Christian is rich enough to have all that they need and they see a brother or sister in Christ who is uh, poor and does not have what they need. What if that Christian does not help that poor brother or sister in Christ? Then that Christian does not have the love of God in their heart. My children, our love should not only be words and talk. Our love must be true love and we should show that love by what we do. And so that's what John said in this uh, letter. We know what real love is by looking at Jesus' example. And Jesus' example was uh, taking action and not just words. You see, Jesus didn't just say that he, was, he loved us. Jesus just didn't just say that he loved us so, 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 so much. He showed us that he loved us. He took action. And John is saying the same thing happens when um, we see um, someone in need, when we have what we need and we see someone else in need, uh, we can love them. We can show the love that Jesus showed for us by helping them, by um, 
providing what they need and by blessing them with that. And so uh, this actually reminds me of something my parents taught me growing up. And it's a saying that says, actions speak louder than words. And that's, um, you can say all the things you like, but until you do something to show someone, it's almost like it's not real. But to show real love, we must act. And what John is saying is we act by loving people, by helping them. And this actually reminds me um, of the story of the Good Samaritan. When someone asks um, Jesus who our neighbor is um, and how we should love them, he told the story of the Good Samaritan. Now, I'm not going to go over that again because we had that Bible story a few weeks ago. Um, thank you, Jill, for that. That was great. Um, but if you want to, you can always go back and watch that. Um, but that's the story of um, a Samaritan man seeing someone in need who is in desperate need of help and him helping them. And um, taking um, healing, their, the helping um, with the, the person who got beaten up's wounds, um, taking them to an inn, uh, paying money to help that person get back on their feet. And that is what love is. That is what John is saying what love is. And that's a fruit of the Holy Spirit that you can have. So when you go away and pray now, I want you guys to pray um, that the Holy Spirit would come into your lives and would grow the fruit of love in your hearts. And so that is fruit number one, uh, the fruit of the Holy Spirit that is love down and only eight more to go. It's time to pray. Yeah, Father God, thank you for who you are. Thank you that you are a God of love. Thank you that love is one of the fruits of your Holy Spirit. Uh, thank you that we can love others because we know what real love is, because we know your love first. Uh, thank you for that. Um, Father, I pray, would you send your Holy Spirit to be with us uh, right now, where we are, uh, and throughout this week. Um, would you bless us with with your spirit close to us? Would we see your um, the, the fruits of your Holy Spirit in our lives um, this week, uh, Father? And would one of those be uh, love? Would you pour your Holy Spirit into us that we would know your love so much more uh, and that we would love others um, as you love us? In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. I encourage you guys now to go away and pray. Maybe if you're um, watching this as a family, maybe you could pause the video and pray together um, and pray that the Holy Spirit would come. You know, the last few weeks we've been talking about uh, spiritual gifts, um, stuff like prophecy and the spiritual gift of tongues. Um, so I'd encourage you to really pray and welcome the Holy Spirit and to see what he wants to do and um, to see what he, what he wants to tell you about today and how God wants to speak to you. So, yeah. Now would be a great time to pause the video and pray uh, together. All right, Trinity kids, it is time for a craft. Now we're going to be doing crafts um, throughout our series on the fruits of the spirit. And for this first craft, you will need two pieces of paper you'll need some sellotape, you'll need some scissors, and you'll need some coloring pens or pencils. I've got a little multicolored pen here. It's got lots of little colors in there, lots of colors there to color with, um, but you'll need a vast array of colors to do some coloring. I think I've said colored too many times there, but here we go. So you need to start with one sheet of paper, and what you need to do is you need to write fruits of the Holy Spirit at the top, um, just there. And then on the top left, because we're doing the first fruit of the Spirit, that is love this week, I want you to write the word love. You can use any colour you like. I'm using red because the fruit that we're drawing is going to be a strawberry. Now, so get your other piece of paper and then line it up because you don't want your fruit to be too big. Um, as if it's too big, then you won't have space for all the other fruits. So you want it just the right size in the corner. There I am checking it out. And I'm drawing a little strawberry. And a strawberry is kind of heart-shaped. Um, 
I'm using red because strawberry is red. You can have a blue strawberry if you like. You can have a yellow strawberry. You can have whatever strawberry you like. Um, and then I'm doing the green leaves at the top here um, to make it nice and pretty, drawing a lovely strawberry, um, which represents uh, the fruit of the spirit. That is love. Now I'm going for some seeds. I'm just gonna draw some seeds on there, make it super realistic because um, I want my strawberry to look good. Um, and uh, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the scissors. Now, if you're a bit younger, you may need your mum and dad to help you with this part. Um, but you just wanna cut out the fruit that you've drawn um, into a nice shape. Maybe don't cut it too tight, but maybe leave it uh, with a little bit of room so you don't get too close to the strawberry. All right, so you've got your fruit, you've got your strawberry, you've written down love on your piece of paper, that's all ready to go. Now, for the important part, we're gonna write the memory verse from today uh, down underneath the fruit. And the verse from today is 1 John 3.16. There we go, 1 John 3.16. And 1 John 3.16 says, this is how we know what real love is. Christ died for us, and so we should give our lives for others. Now, lastly, you just want to grab a piece of sticky tape and stick your fruit to your fruit board. I think it's cool that we're making like a fruit board, but it's the fruits of the Holy Spirit. I think that's pretty cool. And that's all done. Look at that, ready for the other fruits of the Spirit. Great job. What's going on Trinity Kids? Uh, it's me JB again and I'm bringing you the Kingdom Challenge. Now the Kingdom Challenge this week and for the next uh, few weeks is going to be related to the fruit of the Spirit. And we've got a nice easy one this week, love. So what I want you guys to go away and do is uh, do something loving uh, for someone you know. Uh, find someone in need of help. It might be a family member, but I encourage you to look a little bit further afield, maybe a friend um, or, or a family friend or someone you know, um, or maybe a neighbor, and um, do something uh, loving and caring for them. Um, or maybe even uh, something to do with a charity. Um, if you know uh, people in need through charities or, or whatever it is, um, find someone um, who needs some love. Find someone who needs a bit of love in their life and show them the love of Jesus. So that is your challenge this week, uh, Trinity Kids. Um, I hope it goes well. Let me know how it goes and I'll, I'll see you soon. See ya.